Hi, it's me, Nick Avocado. Welcome back, oops, to my channel, oops. Wow, that's a workout, trying to squat up to turn the exposure up. Hi, it's me, um, it's been a crazy time in my life recently. Let's get these socks out of here, we don't need to see them. I have some Sonic, I love Sonic. Follow my Twitter, at Nikocado Avocado, and if you do, I might just follow you back. And we're gonna eat Sonic together. And I got a lot of Sonic because I'm really hungry. We have some french fries, we have some onion rings, and some large bag of onion rings. And then over here I have, oh my god, more onion rings? Oh, my french toast sticks, oh, they're so good. Can I just have a bite? Well, no. People wanna see my first bite. Oh, I'm so excited. And then in here I have my french toast sticks. I got two orders about that. Oh, and I love, love their double cheeseburgers. Mmm, so juicy, very meaty, very good, very like all around good, good sandwich. Napkins, peppermints. Have you ever eaten the peppermints from Sonic? I've never had the peppermints from Sonic before. Ah, okay. So, um, and then I have some chicken tenders. And it comes in this cute little box. And then in here I have, look at all my tater tots, wow. That's a lot of tater tots, oh my god. And then what do I have in here? Oh my goodness. I have all of my mozzarella sticks. Wow, mozzarella sticks in there. And then here I have a lot of sauces. Signature marinara. They gave me so many sauces this time. Last time we went here, they were not happy about giving us sauces. We had asked for more. The guy rolled his eyes. I asked to speak to the manager. Not really, but I was very upset. I complained about it on YouTube. I got more mozzarella sticks over here. And I got more mozzarella sticks over there. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. Oh, look how long they are. I have some french fries over here. French fries over there. Just a little midnight snack, you know. Just kidding. Can I have one french, can I have one french fry from the bottom of the bag? Mm -hmm. I don't even like french fries. That's what I always say. And I also have my jalapeno, or excuse me, call it cheddar peppers, cheddar pepper pepper, pepper. cheddar peppers. And I think that's everything, is that everything? And they gave me these little boxes to hold everything. I think I'm gonna use the boxes for the thumbnail. I'm just gonna be like, we, I don't know, we're gonna figure out something really cute. So clearly we have a lot of food and we have a lot to talk about. Well, I don't know, my mind's always racing when I eat, so you never know. Oh, and again, please don't forget, shout out to my coldest water bottle, my sponsor. Check them out, link down below. You can get 10% off your entire order with my code, Nico. Link down below, okay? And I also have some Chick-fil-A sauce that I've overlooked. Oh, and hot sauce. I'm so excited to eat, so let's go. Are you ready for my eating show? <coughs> the french fry went down my throat. Man, I need to make sure I swallow fully before I keep on going. Mm. Oh look, large tots or fries, jumbo popcorn shrimp. Oh, this tells me what comes in these things. Four piece French toast sticks. They should be in there, but they were, oh, they lied. And then crispy checker, uh, chip creepy tenders and crispy cheddars. Here we go. One, two, three. I'm so, oh wait. What's today's date? Oh, you guys, I am waiting for my, oh. Why did I? Oh, he must have just, he must have done, he must have done, okay. I was gonna say, why am I getting a confirmation for something that that's like Orlin Holm? That's not my name. Anyway, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yes, I'm waiting for a f call. So a couple of weeks ago when I came back from Los Angeles, I had a flight delay because someone had a medical emergency and poor guy, I don't even know if he made it. It was very sad. I was listening to the flight attendant. I even tell you about that trip. You guys, my schedule has been all over the place ever since that trip for obvious reasons, but um, I never even told you like, in the world of Nikocado Avocado, for my eyes, for my view, everything that happened. I didn't even get to chat with you about it, nothing. I came home and boom, I was thrown into H-E double hockey sticks by millions of people who didn't even know who I was, and I was like, oh, what? So I didn't even tell you that story, so maybe I should tell you right now. Oh, yes, so I was leaving Los Angeles, coming back to Atlanta, LA to Atlanta. It's a nonstop flight, right? I don't live in Atlanta, I live in Orlando, but whatever, connecting. And right in the beginning, like I'd say 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 30, I don't know, it was towards the beginning, 
a passenger behind me, not directly, but I couldn't even see, I kept looking. Someone had a medical emergency and um, the flight attendants have walked back and I remember looking back and I see like people standing around and a bunch of girls came up and they were crying and then I heard um, the flight attendant said, okay, for obvious reasons we have suspended the food because they were about to hand out food. So that's how I know it was in the beginning because I didn't even get a drink or nothing, and which is fine. I'm not complaining. But um, yeah, they said for obvious reasons, I guess everyone was looking at what was going on back there. I was in the front and they said we have to make an emergency landing to Salt Lake City. So the plane turned, we did a detour, and we went to Salt Lake City, my first time in Salt Lake City. And it was beautiful, the mountains, and everything was covered with snow at the top. Salt Lake City looked like a beautiful place. It looked magical with the snow. Hey Siri, hey Siri. What is the weather for Salt Lake City? What is the wet? What is the weather for Salt Lake C City? Gosh, she's making me stumble on my words. This is not even okay. Hello. Just a sec. Okay. Thank you. So anyway, so it was very. It's currently partly cloudy and 25 degrees in Salt Lake City, Utah. Oh my Expect god. Expect clear sky starting tonight. Wait, I just have a question. Wait, are I just have a question. From 24 Can, degrees I, to 17 shh, tonight. Shh. No, I have a question. What is the climate year round for Salt Lake City? Go. You should barely answer right. She never even gets it right. I'm just saying, go. Hello. Hey. Hey. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Uh huh. Tell me the climate for Salt Lake City and do it quickly because I'm very upset. It's currently partly cloudy. I didn't ask for. Shh. I didn't ask for. Shh. I asked for the. You don't even. I. Shh. I asked you the class. Don't even talk. Shh. Waste of space. Okay, so I'm gonna have to Google it on my own. Siri is always in naughty naughty pants with me. Naughty naughty land. Salt Lake City climate. I can type it myself. Let's see more about this destination. No, I'm on all months. Okay, so. <sighs> um, the climates, it, ooh, oh, oh, it is intense. Okay, so July can be up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That is very hot and steamy. And the nights are 68. Okay, so the nights are, well, okay, no, half the year. I was gonna say the nights are nice and pleasant. I personally love nights in the 60s. I don't know why I live in Florida, but okay. Um, but I was gonna say the nights are very nice, but only for like three or four months, because then the nights are 27, 25, 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my God. And the highs are 40. Oh no, in December, the highs are 39. It's, it's not, it's not a comfortable. What's the, what's the average? Um, excuse me. Average Salt Lake City home price. Well, I don't know what the average, what's the average size? 2000 square feet. What's a good home? $340,000. Values continue to skyrocket abnormally. So one to 8.1 over the past year. Is it expensive to live in law? Let's see. What's the health of the Utahs? I don't even know. Anyways, um, reports, reports show that Salt Lake City is among the toughest housing markets for millennials. The median list price for a third ranked Salt Lake City registered at $400,000? Oh my gosh, I love Orlando. I could buy a house for $200,000 here. Wow. <laughs> I've seen houses here for 180. dollars Okay. Not like I would want to live there, but I was just, anyways, I was coming down over the airplane. It was very beautiful. And I was just like, wow, I kind of want to get out and explore, but it was so cold. I didn't have any kind of, I have to, we're going to reheat this. I have my air fryer. Don't you worry. So anyways, without further ado, let's begin the show. Thank you so much for being here. And I'm so excited to eat. I'm starving. We have a lot of eating and a lot of talking, but also a lot of eating. So if I'm eating and you're here for the talking, just skip around till I start talking. Um, that's the rule of thumb for my channel. So here we go. One, two, three. Bam. Hey. Hey, I just got off the phone while setting all this up. Is it pretty? Is it nice? Do you like it? 
I was on the phone with the airline. Man, well, they took care of it. I'm so happy, which, you know, they should. It's not like they're having to bend over backwards to do it. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. They couldn't find my flight. And I'm like, here's my name. I gave them my name. I go, we need your ticket number. I'm like, I don't still have my ticket. I threw it away. They're like, well, let's try to call your credit card company and see if we can locate your flight. I'm like, can't you ask me any, any other questions to find it? Like, you have to go with my credit card now? And they're like, mmm. I'm like, well, I have my um, Miles number. Mmm. I love signature sauce. I can give you my Sky Miles number. And they were like, okay. So I gave them my, my Sky Miles number. I think that's what it's called, Miles something, Miles. Basically, it keeps track of all your flights. Mm. Mm. This needs syrup, I'm gonna get syrup. Oh my God, that's so good. Mm. I have my hot sauce over here. I have some leftover ranch over here to put from the refrigerator. And they put in my number. And they're like, oh, we don't see any flights that you were on. I'm like, and I told him, I'm like, what what good is it to have a, a, fi a frequent, fr frequent flyer number if you're not able to locate the flights I took? Well, I understand your frustration. Um, no, no, and then I said, no, but seriously, I'm wondering. Can you answer that for me? What's the point? <laughs> I'm afraid. I know you guys are like, I saw the comments like, I'm that Karen that no one likes. But no, seriously. I give him my frequent flyer number, and he says, I don't see any flights. I'm like, well, then the, what's the point of the number? <laughs> it just made me upset. Mmm. Chicken tender, which I never get here. Mmm. Mmm. My husband's gonna come in and heat all these up. So these have been heated, but by the time this is ready, this is gonna cool down. So, let me put these on the air fryer. So, anyways, then I finally found my. I had to go through all my emails. So 10 minutes of the phone call was me trying to like look for identify who I am. And I, I, I identify the damn flight. This is a cheddar pepper. Mmm. 10% off my bottles. We give away one a week. Look down below. Mm. Now I want to use this ranch on something. Oop. And I oop, don't go loop. What the fuck? That could be a song. Ooh. Ooh. Oops. Mmm. Oh my god, I went to Chick-fil-A the other day, and I tried a sauce for the first time. I've had all their sauces, these Chick-fil-A sauces. I've had them. Oh, I'm like, what's in here? What I hadn't had before was, it was called Honey Roasted Barbecue. Mmm. And let me tell you, it was the best tasting sauce ever. It's kind of similar to the signature sauce here. Mmm. I think it might be a little bit better. But come to these little squeegee pouches. It's like one little drop. And you're like, ah, I want a tub. I really want my mozzarella sticks. So let me go to the air fryer, fry all these up. No, he's probably waiting for me. I thought he would walk in, I don't know. And get some syrup too. I'll be right back. And then just ate it. Really? A deer? Yeah, a deer. Oh. oh my god, it's eating a bird. Hi guys, Orland's laughing about a um a YouTube video. You wanna watch it? Vegan animals eating animals. And I'm like, oh but vegan. 
But everyone must be vegan. Nope. Ooh, we love cheese to <laughs> done. Yes, we do. <sighs> mm, mm, mm. Oh, hi, Phoebe. Oh, thanks for my phone. I'm for my phone. Oh, this is really bad. This is bad. Mmm. Mmm. I'm sorry. So yeah, we're almost laughing at. I have hot sauce here. Let's put the hot sauce on. Laughing at some. Oops. Some hot sauce. Oop. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. I was hot, but uh, ooh. Mmm. No marinara. I have marinara, but I don't want marinara. But I have marinara. Mmm. I get heartburn. Mmm. So good. Okay, guys. Hot and the syrup's on the way. We're finding it. We don't know where it is, but we know we have some. Yes, I'm gonna give it a syrup. Look at some of these french fries, okay? But yeah, I walked into the kitchen, and Orlin's watching this video of deers eating animals, cows eating animals, parrots eating animals, eating other parrots. It's so funny. He's like, see? Mmm. This avocado ranch is so good. Mmm. Let's put it on here. Oh, everything is still hot and steamy. Elder. Oh no. We have some syrup. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Before it's good. Very good. Um. Oh my food bar. Oh my food bar. Mmm. If you need anything, let me know, okay? Oh, I will. That cheese does not look melted. What? It didn't even melt. I don't remember the buns looking like this either. Okay, the avocado lime ranch to the rescue. Here we go. Put it in there just like that. What'd you guys get for Christmas? It's good, but... It's definitely, you know, um, fat burger. Oh, that was one of the best, best places I ate at in Los Angeles. Okay, let's do this. For Christmas, I got a shirt and shorts from Orleans' parents. A cute wall decoration from my sister-in-law. And that's it. Nice and simple. Oh no, why am I eating these? These are not the ones that have the cheese pull. Mm. It's still good though. We love cheese. Yes, we do. Hoo hoo. Mmm. Ow! A hot of women. Oh. Oh, I like that pile. Mmm. Mmm.
Put some hot, oop. Some hot sauce. Very runny hot sauce. Mmm. 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 I'm so happy. Where's another? Oh, where's another? Oh, here. Another. I am telling you. Oh my god. We need another ranch. Out the way you go. So, anyway. Mmm. What else do you Oh. I'm gonna do another signature sauce, too. I hope you're having a wonderful day. <clears throat> I say it every day, don't I? See, I'm thinking of you. I had the weirdest dream last night about a lady from my church. A friend of mine from church, my old church, oh, there, who, we're at some kind of party together. And that's all I, <laughs> that's all I remember. I love these cheddar popper pepper things, don't I? Isn't it weird when you have dreams about people you haven't seen for years? And you're like, why are you still in my memory? Like, get out of there. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Get out of there. Mmm. Two at once. The more the merrier. Okay, this is very good. What do I want to save it for? My tots, probably, yeah. My onion ring. Oh my God. Oh, I was gonna pour it on top of it. <sighs> Chicken. You want a bite? You can have some, I share. My favorite psychic just uploaded his 2020 predictions. I was waiting for more and there wasn't that much in there. I mean, there was, I guess. Well, I have to finish it. Okay. <laughs> you gave like an overview in the first couple minutes. Here are my predictions and then I'll go into detail now. <clears throat> I almost wish you didn't do that. Because he gave me like the, um, the summary in the first couple minutes. It's an hour long, so he has lots to talk about. But then I walk away thinking like, I already heard it, so I don't need to keep listening. But I know there's more stuff in there. Oh, it's still hot. Florida is cold right now. Mmm. 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 I 
Everything is good. I don't know about the cheeseburger though. Okay, oh, but Burger King has been my thing lately. Mmm, <clears throat> so good. Um, yeah, when I crave a burger, the first thing that comes to mind <clears throat> is fat burger, which we don't have here. At least I'm pretty sure. Siri! I'll ask her later. I'm pretty sure we don't have fat burger. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. But then again, now that I think about it, I've never really looked. I always assumed it was a West Coast thing, like in and out. I'm positive. I know I've researched it. But, um, so, obviously can't get that here. That's my favorite fast food cheeseburger. Way better than Five Guys. Smash Burger's my thing, you know, but still. <clears throat> Fat Burger's where it's at, because they have the sweet potato. Fat Burger is the best burger place. Bye-bye, Five Guys. Bye-bye, Smash Burger. Bye-bye, The Habit. Ooh, whatever. Shake Shack's good. Shake Shack's good, but nothing. Fat Burger's the place. And then, um, in terms of, like, fast food chain that you can get all around the United States, I like a Burger King Whopper. Double Whopper with cheese. Mmm. 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 It's greasy. Grease coming out. No, it's good. Syrup. And my mozzarella stick. Mm. Oh, hot. Grease and flame. Ow. Oh, my phone's in my pocket. I'm not telling you what that said. <laughs> I don't even like french fries, no. <clears throat> I am not telling you what that said. That said something. I wish I didn't read that in my middle of my <clears throat> mukbang. That's him. I'm gonna say goodbye.
Bye. I got really full all of a sudden. In the middle of my cheese pull. No. I want to like it, I just can't. That did not taste, that does not taste good. I'm getting full. So. I think I'm done, you guys. <clears throat> Bye.